They're always simple. The rules are very simple. Uh, but the problem is now which is the important simple rule. Especially just in the organization. Well, that's the most important. What you learn about is it's people that do it. And you know, I sort of say, so I started as a scientist, and I, well, you did too. And I started out as someone who believed in, in physics, in, 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 in laws, in analysis, in logic, to understand things. But in a way, I stayed right away from people because I used to. But the more my career went on, the more I involved with people. The research group, the research centre, the research department, the science department, the university, and then I've been involved with running many companies too. And I just did the awareness of culture. If you can get people on the other side, 
distinguished invitees, esteemed members on the board of governors, respected faculty members, staff members, proud parents and other family members, and most importantly, the graduating class. It is a it's a matter of pleasure and great honor that we have gathered here for the 16th graduation ceremony of the Bachelors of Science program, University of Bradford. On behalf of IILM Undergraduate Business School, I extend warm greetings and welcome you all to this very solemn and at the same time a joyous and a fulfilling occasion. Let me welcome and introduce to you Professor Brian Canton, Vice Chancellor of the University of Bradford. Professor Cantor is acknowledged as a world authority on materials manufacturing and has published over 300 books and research papers. He has worked at universities like the Sussex, Northeastern, Oxford, York, to name just a few, and has worked for organizations like Alcan, General Electric, NASA, Rolls-Royce, and the European Union. He has chaired and been a board member of institutions like the National Science Learning Center, the Worldwide Universities Network, and the Royal Academy of Engineering. Recently, he was awarded a CBE for services to higher education in the 2013 New Year's Honours. Professor Cantor joined University of Bradford in the year 2013. He was unable to join us for convocation last year. Professor Cantor, your presence today is a source of inspiration to our students and all of us. I also welcome Professor John Driest, Dean of the School of Management, and Dr. Abhijit Sharma, Senior Lecturer in Economics, School of Management, to this occasion. We are proud to have you with us during the 16th graduation ceremony. It is a matter of great satisfaction to us that we have successfully completed another year of our academic partnership with the University of Bradford, culminating in today's very special event. Vice Chancellor, do I have your permission to declare the ceremony open? The ceremony is now open. Can I uh, start by thanking uh, Dr. Ryan's family on his and uh, Mrs. Rye's uh, wonderful news about their grandson is the first most important thing. It's a wonderful day for them. I think you should give them all a round of applause. And I want to thank uh, also uh, Dr. Chopra, the Dean for saying such very nice uh, things about, about me and my colleagues who are absolutely delighted to be able to travel around the world to come and join you on this truly happy and joyous occasion. I'm absolutely pleased to welcome all the graduates, their families and friends to this degree ceremony of the University of Bradford and the 16th graduation ceremony of the IILM uh, Undergraduate Business School to be held here in New Delhi. Um, I now invite Professor John Rees, Dean of the School of Management of the University of Bradford, to address the ceremony. Dean. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, Deans, staff, honoured guests, and most importantly, graduates. Today is a day of celebration, of achievement, and of pride. A day to share with your family, with your friends, your fellow students, and of course with the academic staff and management here at IILM. 
you studied with RILM for a University of Bradford School of Management degree. And as you graduate, I wanted to say a little bit more about the school so that you can be reminded about its history and its standing in the world and can be even more proud of what you have achieved. Bradford University School of Management, then called the Management Centre, was launched in 1963. We therefore have just celebrated our 50th anniversary in 2013. When we launched, we were the very first university business school in the UK, ahead of places like London Business School, and one of only a handful of business schools across the whole of Europe. Over the years, the school has been a, been a pioneering thought leader in management areas such as international business, industrial economics, and total quality management, and has always been highly ranked in the UK and internationally. Today, we maintain our position as a thought leader, being at the forefront of things like the circular economy, which is, in essence, a new business model which encourages the redesign of products to allow for reuse and remanufacturing, resulting in less waste of precious materials to the environment, reduced energy costs and increased profitability. This concept, supported by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, is viewed by the McKinsey Group as being a multi-trillion dollar business opportunity globally. The University of Bradford, alongside Imperial, are the leading UK universities on this subject and are working with other global universities such as Yale, Stanford, MIT, <coughs> Tongxi in China and the National Institute of Design here in India. And with companies such as Rolls-Royce, Renault, Cisco, Marks & Spencer and the Brewer SAB Miller. We've recently launched the first circular economy themed MBA in the world, as well as running online executive education programs, attracting many executives from major corporations around the globe. We're in the top 30 business schools in the UK for the quality of our internationally excellent research, and ranked in the top, th top 50 business schools in Europe, and have recently been ranked by the UK's Financial Times as number one in the world for our distance learning MBA in terms of career progression. As graduates of the school, you will indeed be in great company. With many successful and famous alumni from the school in all walks of life, including the former chief executive of the major corporate H.J. Hines, Tony O'Reilly, and the former chief executive of retailer W.H. Smith, Kate Swan. I don't doubt that as you join the ranks of over a thousand School of Management alumni in, here in Delhi, that we will have many other future success stories amongst us. I will finish by saying congratulations to all students graduating today and very best, best wishes for the future. I certify that the candidates to be presented at this ceremony have complied with all the conditions required by the University to qualify their awards. Dr Sangeeta Chopra, Dean of the Undergraduate Business School, requests leave to present candidates of IILM Undergraduate Business School. Professor Cantor, sir, I present to you candidates from the IILM Undergraduate Business School to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Finance, Mayan Dhingra. Mayan Shah. Ridhima Sharma Abhishek Agarwal Vishal Agarwal
Anshul Ahuja. And Mol Arora. Minal Arora. Priyanka Arora. Sanjit Bajaj. Acharya Bhadra. Risha Bhotra. Anish Chabra. Ashna Dalmia. Rishabh Dureja. Aditya Garg. Manav Garg. Anjali Goyal. Bhavya Goyal. Nikhil Goyal. Sankalp Gulati. Manisha Gupta. Paris Gupta. Ashish Jain. Atishi Jain. Lovesh Jain. Radhika Jain. Priyanshi Jain. Shubham Jain.
शेला होता वैभव नायर निर्मल नेपाल
राजकीरण चुग Professor Kanter, sir, I present to you candidates from ILM College Gurgaon to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business and Management. Bhavna Bisht, <laughs> Vikram Aditya Chaudhary. Ashish Chakar Arzu Gill Harsh Deep Gill Sahiba Gulati Rubik Jochi Anmol Rawat Nitin Sharma Siddharth Sharma Sucheta Sharma Sanviti Sinha Karamveer Rai Valya Rohit Yadav Professor Cantor, I present to you in addition for the award of degrees of the University of Bradford in absentia those graduates whose names appear in the order of proceedings but who are not present here in person at this ceremony. By the power vested in me and the authority vested in me by the University of Bradford, I award degrees to all of those who have elected to take them in absentia. I would like to give special recognition to our student Raghav Mudgil, who is no longer with us. The degree is awarded to him posthumously. Raghav was a meritorious and a dedicated student. I request the gathering to observe a brief silence in memory of Raghav Mudgil. The silence may end. <coughs> Madam, I present graduates who have secured first, second, and third positions in the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management Examination 2014 and are being awarded the gold, silver, and bronze models, as also those graduates who are being awarded. Certificate of Honor for securing highest marks in the modules of stage 3. 
May I request our chairperson, Mrs. Malvika Rai, to please award the medals and the certificates of honor. <coughs> Dr. Kulwant Rai Gold Medal for securing first position is awarded to Arzu Gill. the Certificate of Honor for securing highest marks in Regional Marketing, International Finance, Services Marketing, and International Business Strategy. <laughs> Dr. Kulwant Rai Silver Medal for securing second position is awarded to Gauri Mittal. Gauri is also awarded the Certificate of Honor for securing highest marks in Understanding Strategic Management, Auditing International Finance. She is not present here to collect the award. Dr. Kulwant Rai Bronze Model for securing third position is awarded to Sanjeev Kumar Rai. Sanjeev is also awarded the Certificate of Honor for securing highest marks in global business environment. He too is not present here for the collect of the award. Other recipients of the Certificate of Honor are Acharya Bhadra for contemporary issues in accounting and taxation. Anjali Goyal for brand management. Ashna Kapoor for services marketing. Deep Batra for International and Comparative Employment Relations. Gurumreet Khurana for International Accounting. She is not present here. Khushbu Jain for Corporate Reporting. She too is not present here. Pallavi Madan for Human Resource Management and World Class Operations. Malik for marketing and entrepreneurship. <laughs> Rubik Joshi for global business environment and applied strategic management. <laughs> Sadhvi Khanna for corporate marketing. She is not present here. Saleh Khurana for taxation. He too is not present here. Srishti Gupta for international marketing, she is not present here. Vishali Malhotra for international accounting, she too is not present here. Professor Cantor. Now I wish to announce the recipient of the best project of the graduating year. Sir, of the various projects submitted, the project on strategic report for IBM submitted by Rubik Joshi has been adjudged the best for the award of the special prize. May I request you, sir, to please award the prize. Rubik Joshi. <laughs> sir, this concludes the award of the medals and the certificates of honor. May I now request the director? I'm not sure if he's conscious by now. I'm just I'm <laughs> busy. He's gone outside. Thank you. May I now request the director, Dr. Vanna Srivastava, to deliver her address? Vice Chancellor, University of Bradford, Professor Brian Cantor, Dean School of Management, University of Bradford, Professor John Reist, Madam Chairperson, Mrs. Malvika Rai, members of our Board of Governors, proud parents, and dear graduating students. 
On behalf of the IILM family, I extend a very warm welcome to you to the 16th graduation ceremony of the IILM Undergraduate Business School. Our partnership with the School of Management, University of Bradford, enters its 19th year. Together we have grown imparting quality education to more than 1,600 students in the field of business and management studies since the induction of our first batch in 1996. Over the years, IILM UBS has built a very strong brand for the undergraduate program. IILM's Vision 2015 places the student at its thereby ensuring that all initiatives and activities, whether academic or co-curricular, are directed at providing an excellent learning experience for the students. Our UBS programs in particular are well recognized for their international linkages, strong industry engagement, and student-focused environment. It is a matter of great satisfaction to us that each year nearly 90% of our students who come to us have had a family member or a close friend who has been an IILM pass out or has strongly recommended the IILM experience. IILM Undergraduate Business School has emerged as a truly international institution that today offers a variety of courses at the undergraduate level. The students have a unique option to enroll for courses at IILM, study for a year or two, and then take a transfer to a university or a country of their choice to complete the degree program. With about 50 international linkages, IILM is a launch pad for students who wish to pursue their international education at leading universities in UK, Europe, US, and Canada. Our network of foreign partners across the globe facilitate numerous options for students to transition in the area of management. Apart from this, our international linkages provide the students with the option to pursue semester exchanges, foreign internships, and short-term study abroad trips. The year 2014 has been a year of development and growth at IILM. 2014 has seen IILM consolidate its position as a UN Global Compact Signatory. In September last year, IILM was selected as a PRMB Champion Business School. Only 30 B schools from all over the world have been given this honor, and we are the only one from India. As a champion for faculty development and engagement working group of PRMB, IILM has started work towards developing a framework for faculty development for the PRME business schools, a task which we have undertaken together with Babson College USA and the Copenhagen Business School. In April last year, IILM was accorded the prestigious SACS accreditation by MDSA. The South Asian Quality Assurance System is the highest standard of achievement for management schools in Asia. So far, 15 other business schools in India have received this accreditation. As a member of the select league and of elite business schools, IILM continues in its commitment to quality and continuous improvement to gain recognition beyond the domestic markets. IILM continues to consolidate its position in the area of executive education. We offer a wide range of executive education programs on various pl platforms. In 2014, we have completed 10 years of training of IES and IPS officers. Almost one-tenth of the IES officers in the Government of India have attended various training programs of IILM. Apart from these, IILM aims to consolidate its position in the area of customized trainings to public sector undertakings, with Engineers India Limited being one such training undertaken in 2014. And now I come to the part which is closest to my heart, that is you, my dear students. Today you come to the end of a journey which you started three years back. Today also marks the beginning of a new journey, a journey which will move you from the safe and protective boundaries of your homes and your college into a professional world where you're poised to make your mark. As you move out to soar high, I would like you to bear the following in mind. 1. 2014 marks a year of change and opportunity. For the first time perhaps in decades, we Indians have put aside our differences of caste, creed and religion to cast a mandate which is truly of the people, for the people and by the people. This change has been brought about by none other than you, the youth of the nation who have decided to exercise their rights for a better life. The winds of change with their focus on make in India mark the beginning of an era of opportunities. Also, both globally and within the country, young Indians are showing the way by being innovative leaders, be it Satya Nadella or Sachin Bansal. With the economic indicators showing an upward swing, 
the time is right for you to move ahead with single minded focus to make the most of these opportunities and take initiatives go my dear students seize the day while it is just the right time for you to move ahead do not forget to take along with you the less fortunate this my dear students is my second message to you we have all heard of mr kailash satyarthi a tireless and quiet crusader for child rights who was the core recipient of the nobel peace prize for 2014 as you get on with the routine of your lives do not forget that that within each one of us is a satyarthi your efforts may be small yet together they will be large enough to bring a smile to a face and finally my dear students as you embark on this journey i urge you to follow your dream i would like to quote t e lawrence all men dream but not equally those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that it was vanity but the dreamers of the day are dangerous men for they may act on their dreams with their eyes open to make them possible dream on my dear students but dream with your eyes open do not forget that you have the unconditional support of your parents and your alma mater for all of us at iilm it is our deepest wish to be a part of your dream do come back often if there are any ways that we can continue to be of help we would be delighted to do so and if there are ways that you would like to share your talents and learnings with the institution we would be most happy to engage with you with these words i wish the graduates the very best for a glorious future for themselves their families and their organizations my hearty congratulations to all students parents and faculty members on this occasion professor kanta sir may i now request you to please deliver your graduation address Uh, Dr. Chopra, for some uh, wonderful, wonderful words. And thank you for inviting me to speak here. And I repeat what I said. I want to thank everybody who is here for being so kind as to invite me over to be part of your wonderful occasion. Fifty years ago, I was sitting where you are, waiting to receive my degree. Actually, it might be fifty-one years. I wrote this last year. <laughs> If you told my friends that 50 years later I would be vice chancellor of the University of Bradford, standing where I am now, I can tell you they wouldn't have believed it. And if you told my lecturers and professors, they would have been astonished. But it's possible to achieve great things. University of Bradford students come from many different kinds of backgrounds from all parts of the world from all parts of society at all ages <coughs> with all kinds of interests and with all kinds of previous experience you come to learn through your formal teaching programs and you also learn through informal contacts with others with your with your teachers but also with your friends with your peers and with many many people you are about to, you are about to graduate and leave you should be better prepared to develop your own lives better prepared to help others and better prepared to achieve things in society i have one piece of advice only and it reflects something that dr chopper just said i have one piece of advice to you you can achieve anything you want I became vice chancellor of the University of Bradford. I can hardly believe it myself. You can achieve anything you want. Don't undervalue yourself. Don't underestimate your ability to make things happen. Decide what you want to do. Make sure it's worth doing. There is no point doing something that's not worth doing. Make sure it's what you really want to do. You will not be successful unless you really want to do it. And then finally, make sure you just go for it. Grasp the chance, as Dr. Chopper just said. You may actually only get one chance. 
Receiving a University of Bradford degree is a great achievement. The university continues to make great progress. Our School of Management has once again been named one of the world's top business schools in the 2014 Financial Times World Rankings. And you heard from the Dean, John Rees, that it's in the top group in, out of a total of 17,000 worldwide, it's in the top group in the UK, and it's, in the, and it's actually first in the world for the career outcomes from its distance MBA. Our Peace Studies Department at Bradford was the first ever in the world and has been working for 40 years to help develop peace in countries worldwide. Our engineering school is third in the world for polymer engineering and works with literally hundreds of companies worldwide to deliver improved products. We've just won a £12 million flagship university enterprise zone to be UK leader in digital healthcare, partnering with BT and major hospitals in Leeds, Beijing and other cities worldwide to deliver improved health to people worldwide. Over the last five to ten years, we have invested almost a third of a billion dollars, that's about 2,000 crore of rupees, in better teaching, library, accommodation, sports and social facilities for our students. And we have a 10-year plan to grow by about 50%, investing a further third of a million dollars. We'll invest it in pounds, but I, for an international audience, I turn it into dollars, and as I said, that's about 2,000 crore of rupees. Most importantly, the University of Bradford graduates have an outstanding record of getting jobs after graduation, one of the best records in the UK, and indeed in the world. The University of Bradford is one of the world's leading technology universities. We believe in making knowledge work. That's our motto. We believe fiercely in delivering professional and vocational courses which fit our graduates for great lives and outstanding careers. And we believe fiercely in doing research which has a direct impact on the world, creating economic and societal value to improve people's lives worldwide. We are very frank and say we are not an ivory tower because we want to make a difference to people in this world, whether it's our students who can graduate and have better careers, or whether it's the impact that they have on the world and the impact of our research in creating better conditions for literally millions of people worldwide. Our university's first chancellor, the then Prime Minister Harold Wilson, the UK Prime Minister, told our first graduates almost 50 years ago, you can be confident of your university developing in the future with the same dynamism shown before, educating men and women to be relevant to the needs of a changing society. This is true today, as it has been for the last nearly 50 years. Our successes at the University of Bradford, and indeed here at IILM, are a tribute to the hard work, the ability, and the dedication of all of the staff, students, friends, alumni, colleagues, and supporters throughout the world. You in the hall, everybody, should be proud of contributing to and being part of such a great success here at IILM and in association with the University of Bradford. Be proud. Today you all graduate, you've learned many things and you leave to build your own future. But your link with Bradford does not end today. You are now one of the university alumni. You are and you always will be a member of Team Bradford. Alumni from Bradford continue to make a major impact on society. Our alumni include many people who have made their mark on the world, as you will do. It's a long list. It includes Alan Keir, Chief Executive of HSBC, Mo Ibrahim, a mobile communications entrepreneur and billionaire, De Demike McConnell, Deputy Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Lawrence Tomlinson, Chairman of LNT Group, running care homes, building software construction, and owning the sports car firm Ginetta, and Pratiba Palmer, internationally recognized filmmaker who used her camera to benefit women worldwide. This is a very small selection. The University of Bradford has a total of nearly 120,000 graduates distributed throughout the world, doing every imaginable job. A massive force for good a truly massive force for good in the world. And today, you join this impressive list of alumni. You are Bradford's newest graduates and alumni. You join 
a remarkably large, friendly, happy, successful, supporting family. People who can help you, and you can help them. I'm confident you will be as successful as our current alumni, and some of the ones I've mentioned, in the near future as you go ahead to make your mark too. You know, you'll always be a member of the Bradford family. You may have noticed about families. It's one of those things. You can't, you can't uh, say I'm not a member of the family. You always are. You will always be a member of the Bradford family, which is great. You will always now, having done one of our degrees, share our ideals. This is the most important thing. Whatever you learnt in your courses, which is very important, whatever you learn from others, which is very important, you will now have ideals. A commitment to social justice. For everybody. A commitment to excellence. A belief in freedom of speech. A respect for the individual. And most important, support for education, research and the pursuit of wisdom and understanding. You will always be a member of Team Bradford. We want you to stay in touch. Keep us informed of your progress. Come back here to Delhi, to ILM and come to Bradford in the UK to see us in years to come. You're a member of the family. You're always welcome to come out. This is your day. This is your day. I salute you all. I also, though, before I finish, want to salute all your parents, relatives and friends, many of whom are here today. They have supported you in reaching this important point in your lives. Make sure you thank them for the help they've given you. Because, you know, it might be your special day, but it's also their special day. So I've said it to all of you individually, and I'm now going to say it to all of you collectively. Very many congratulations, and the best, very best wishes for your future success. Well done. Congratulations. May I now request the gathering to rise? Professor Cantor, sir, do I have your permission to declare the ceremony closed? The ceremony is closed.
हाँ हाँ पीछा Yes. <laughs> 
Have a safe trip. It was really nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. It will be a lot more humid. Would you like to go as well? Enjoy the rest of the Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is good. I'm going to find out.